Chairman, I thank members for their views on supporting the housing needs of seniors, lower income and vulnerable households. As Singapore matures and grows, we must do so inclusively and take care of the diverse and changing needs of our population. Today, I will focus on two key areas. First, on uplifting our lower-income households and preserving social mobility. And second, on ensuring that Singapore remains a safe and comfortable home for our ageing population. For lower-income households with no other housing options, public rental housing is a key social safety net. We recognise that shelter alone is not enough. For many of these families, complex and overlapping challenges such as illness and or unemployment often get in the way. To address these challenges early, we pair rental housing with social support. Since November 2022, all families with children enter public rental housing through the Combling Rental Scheme. As of end January 2024, we have around 700 families on this scheme. These families are paired with a Combling Plus family coach soon after entry into public rental housing. Through early and sustained engagement with the families, Combling Plus family coaches can tailor their support to what each family needs, fostering stability, self-reliance, and ultimately, social mobility. When these rental households are ready, we support them in their transition towards homeownership. Over the past decade, about 8,300 public rental households have progressed to homeownership. In 2023 alone, close to 950 households transitioned to homeownership, the highest in the last five years. We have a range of measures in place to support both first-timer and second-timer rental households in making this transition. Like other first-timer Singaporean families, first-timer families in public rental can tap on the Enhanced CPF Housing Grant to receive up to $80,000 to support them in their purchase of their first home from HDB. For second-timer rental families, the Fresh Start Housing Scheme boosts their housing budget and supports them in regaining and sustaining home ownership. The Fresh Start Housing Scheme has been enhanced in the past two years to help more families. We increased the grant amount from $35,000 to $50,000 and gave Fresh Start families who may need a larger flat the option to purchase more affordable three-room flats on shorter leases. As of end January 2024, we have 101 families who have tapped on the Fresh Start Housing Scheme to book a new flat. Besides the various housing schemes and grants available, HDB also has the Home Ownership Support Team, or HST in short, to provide one-to-one -one guidance to help rental households navigate the flat buying process. One family that has benefited from HST's support and the Fresh Start Housing Scheme is Madam Haslina Binti Tahar and her three children. Madam Haslina has been living with her children in a two-room public rental flat for a few years. Keen to regain home ownership, Madam Haslinda reached out to HST for help in understanding her family's housing budget and options. In December 2023, with HST's support and help from the Tenants Priority Scheme, Madam Haslinda successfully booked a three-room sale of balance flat with a shorter lease of 50 years. With her CPF savings and the Fresh Start Housing Grant, she was able to complete the flat purchase without a loan. Madam Haslinda and her children are now looking forward to moving into their new flat, which will be ready by end, by end 2024. As of end 2023, HST has engaged close to 1,600 households. Of these, over 120 have moved into their new homes and another close to 100 families have booked their flats and are waiting to collect their keys. We have also been looking into ways to better support singles 
in public rental housing. Today, under the Joint Single Scheme, or GSS, singles must apply for a rental flat with a flatmate. While most GSS tenants can find a flatmate and live together without issues, we recognise that this may be difficult for some. This is why we have been exploring new typologies to improve the living experience of singles living in public rental housing. Ms. Kerry Tan, Mr. Faisal Manap and Mr. Louis Chua have asked for updates on these new typologies. The GSS Operator Run Model, or GSS OR for short, is an ongoing pilot from December 2021. Under GSS OR, singles can apply for a rental flat without a flat mate. A social service agency is appointed by HDB operates its site, including managing the flat sharing arrangements and mediating between tenants when disagreements arise. Last year, we expanded the pilot to three new sites in Bukit Panjang, Bidadari and Sengka. With these additional sites, HDB has assisted about 600 GSS OR tenants as of end 2023 and can accommodate up to 1,000 tenants in total. One tenant that has benefited from GSS OR is Mr Lee, who is in his 70s. After his, his friend, the friend that he was leaving passed away, Mr Lee had to turn to public rental housing. At his age and with his medical needs, Mr Lee had trouble finding a flatmate to apply with him under the GSS. With the help of a social worker, Mr Lee applied for the GSS OR instead. After he was accepted to the Bukit Panjang site, the GSS OR operator helped to pair him with a compatible flatmate and Mr Lee moved in in October 2023. Since then, Mr Lee and his flatmate have been getting along well. As demonstrated through Mr Lee's experience, I'm happy to share that the pilot has been progressing well. Mr Lee and many other tenants have shared their appreciation for the on-site social service agencies whom they can approach for assistance when needed. The model has also been effective in mitigating co-tenant conflicts. Over 95% of such conflicts were resolved through the on-site operator's early mediation and adjustment of flat sharing arrangements where necessary. Some operators have also gone the extra mile, for example, by organising activities to encourage interactions and bonding among tenants. We will further evaluate the pilot outcomes before adjusting and expanding the model to meet the needs of the tenants and operators. Another pilot typology is the Single Room Shared Facilities Model, or SRSF. Through SRSF, we aim to give singles in public rental more privacy while making good use of limited space and preventing social isolation. HDB will open applications for the SRSF pilot in second quarter 2024. Thereafter, we look forward to housing the first batch of successful applicants from around third quarter 2024. Let me now explain our efforts to adapt our home to be more senior friendly. This will support our seniors who wish to age in place in their communities. Ms. Cheryl Chan, Ms. Tim Paling, Mr. Mr. Henry Quack and Ms. Nadia Samdin have asked about HWL SG, including on our efforts to support seniors with little or no family support. Let me share further details on our initiatives. First, under HWL SG, we had announced the expansion of the wireless alert alarm system or AAS, to all seniors aged 60 and above living in public rental housing. The wireless AAS is an emergency button that is linked to nearby active ageing centres and care line, a 24-7 hotline that provides response to callers in distress. The feedback from seniors in rental blocks that currently has the wireless AAS in stock has been positive. Seniors found the alert system particularly helpful during emergencies. Last month, I visited Mr. Abdul Rahim and Madam Ernowati, an elderly couple staying in a one-room rental flat in Jalan Besar. Mr. Abdul Rahim suffers from heart disease. 
in the past year, the couple had activated the wireless AAS three times to call for help after Mr. Abdul Rahim experienced breathlessness and collapse at home. After activating the alert button, they were connected to Caroline staff, who promptly alerted the ICDF to send him to the hospital. During my visit, both Mr. Abdul Rahim and Madam Arnawati shared that they felt more assured with the wireless AAS in their home. Its round-the-clock emergency response service allowed them to receive medical help promptly, especially when Mr. Abdul Rahim collapsed late at night. Like Mr. Abdul Rahim, about 800 seniors have received emergency medical assistance through the wireless AAS from end 2019 to mid 2023. The wireless AAS expansion is estimated to benefit around 26,800 more seniors living in around 170 rental blocks. I'm pleased to share that we will, be start, we will start to roll out the wireless AAS expansion from January 2025 and will cover three rental blocks per month. We will start with rental blocks with a higher number of seniors, such as in Bukit Merah and Kalang Wampu. We hope that as a result of this effort, our seniors in public rental will feel safer when living independently at home. Further, under HWELL SG, we had also announced the expansion of senior-friendly features offered under the Enhancement for Active Seniors, or EASE, program to enhance the safety and well-being of seniors in their homes. The earlier announced features include rocker switches, home fire alarm devices, the widening of bathroom entrances and handrails at main entrances with stats. In addition to the above, we'll be introducing additional features targeted at improving bathroom safety and for prevention for seniors under East 2.0. These include lowered bathroom entrance curbs, foldable U-profile grab bars, and bidet sprays. Bathrooms carry a significant fall risk for seniors, and we hope these features will help keep our seniors safe. Mr. Henry Quick had, uh, had asked when the East 2.0 rollout would commence. I'm pleased to share that households may apply for the new improvement items under the East program from 1st April 2024. Households that have tapped on East in the past may apply again for the new items. The EAST program is heavily subsidised by the government. Today, under EAST, a Singaporean household living in a three-room flat only pays 5% of the cost of the upgrades, with the rest covered by the government. The new features under EAST 2.0 will adopt this same subsidy structure. A three-room flat owner tapping on the full EAST program, which includes a wheelchair lifter, and the new EAST 2.0 features can expect to pay only around $570, with the remaining cost of around $10,000 borne by the government. Fuller details on the cost will be provided on HDB InfoWeb from 1st April this year. Mr. Ong Hua Han had asked if we would provide financial support to persons with disabilities or PWDs to improve the accessibility of their HDB flats. As with ease, non-elderly families with extenuating circumstances, such as households with, with PWDs, can apply for the new East 2.0 features on a case-by-case -case basis. With these new features under the East program, we hope to assure our seniors and your loved ones that your homes will continue to be enhanced to meet your changing needs. Sir, allow me to now speak in Malay. Dalam ucapan beliau, Menteri Desmond Lee berkongsi tentang langkah-langkah baru yang akan kami ambil untuk menangani keperluan perumahan pasangan dan keluarga muda. Dalam interaksi kami dengan pasangan-pasangan muda ini, kami telah mendengar bahawa ramai yang sangat berminat untuk menempah flat dan menetap dengan lebih awal. Ini termasuk mereka yang masih belajar sepenuh masa, menjalani perkhidmatan negara atau mereka yang baru tamat pengajian atau Perkhidmatan Negara pada tahun. 
Pasangan sedemikian tidak layak untuk menerima geran perumahan CPF di pertingkat atau EHG yang memerlukan 12, 12 bulan pekerjaan yang berterusan. Kami ingin terus menyokong kumpulan pasangan muda ini yang kini layak untuk penilaian pendapatan tertunda dan skim pendahuluan berperingkat atau SDS. Mulai Jun 2024, kami akan mempertingkatkan SDS untuk mengurangkan lagi bayaran pendahuluan awal kepada 2.5% daripada harga flat dengan baki yang dibayar semasa pengambilan kunci. Kami berharap ini akan dapat membantu lebih ramai pasangan muda untuk mempercepatkan rancangan perkahwinan dan keibu bapaan mereka. Kumpulan kedua pasangan yang telah kami dengar melalui pendekatan kami adalah mereka yang telah menempah flat BTO mereka tetapi memerlukan tempat tinggal sementara menanti penyiapan flat baru mereka. Hari ini kami menyediakan perumahan sementara yang bersubsidi untuk keluarga-keluarga ini yang sedang menunggu flat siap dibina di bawah skim perumahan sementara ke ibu bapaan ataupun PPHS. Untuk memenuhi permintaan tinggi untuk PPHS, kami akan menggandakan bekalan PPHS kepada 4,000 unit menjelang 2025. Sementara itu, untuk menyokong lebih ramai keluarga yang layak untuk PPHS, kami akan memperkenalkan baucer PPHS pasaran terbuka untuk membantu mereka yang menyewa flat HDB atau bilik tidur di pasaran terbuka. Baucer akan disediakan selama setahun mulai Julai 2024. Setiap keluarga yang layak akan menerima 300 dolar sebulan dan bayaran adalah berdasarkan bayaran balik. Baucer PPHS ini akan menyediakan sedikit bantuan keuangan untuk keluarga muda yang menyewa sementara menunggu flat BTO mereka. Untuk keluarga berpendapatan rendah yang belum bersedia untuk memiliki rumah dan tidak mempunyai pilihan perumahan lain, kami menyediakan perumahan sewa awam untuk memastikan mereka mempunyai rumah yang selamat dan stabil. Sepanjang dekad yang lalu, kira-kira 8,300 isi rumah sewa awam telah mencapai pemilikan rumah. Daripada jumlah ini, hampir 950 telah berbuat demikian pada tahun 2023 yang tertinggi dalam tempoh lima tahun yang lalu. Kami berharap lebih banyak isi rumah sewa awam akan beralih kepada pemilikan rumah pada tahun yang akan datang. Kami menggalakkan isi rumah ini untuk menghubungi HDB jika mereka memerlukan sebarang bantuan dalam perjalanan pemilikan rumah mereka. Sedang penduduk kita menua, salah satu keutamaan kami adalah memastikan warga emas boleh terus tinggal dengan selamat di rumah mereka dan menua dengan sihat dalam masyarakat. Kami akan berbuat demikian melalui inisiatif-inisiatif utama di bawah menua sihat SG atau HWL SG. Pertama, kami akan memperluaskan peruntukan sistem amaran kecemasan tanpa wayar atau AAS kepada semua warga emas yang berusaha berusia 60 tahun ke atas yang tinggal di flat sewa awam. AAS tanpa wayar ini dihubungkan ke pusat penuaan aktif yang berdekatan dan juga K-Line talian bantuan 24 jam yang memberi respon kepada pemanggil dalam keadaan kecemasan. Kami akan mula melaksanakan peluasan AAS tanpa wayar mulai Januari 2025. Peluasan penyediaan AAS ini dijangka memberi manfaat kepada tambahan sekitar 26,800 warga emas yang tinggal di 170 blok sewa. Seterusnya, kami akan memperluaskan rangkaian ciri-ciri masyarakat warga emas yang ditawarkan di bawah program peningkatan bagi warga emas aktif atau IS untuk semua warga emas. Mulai 1 April 2024, warga emas boleh memilih berbendul jalan masuk tandas yang direndahkan, palang pegangan lipat dan penyebur bidih di bawah IS 2.0. Ini adalah tambahan kepada ciri-ciri yang diumumkan sebelum ini seperti pintu masuk tandas yang diluaskan dan kerusi pancuran lipat. Kos ciri-ciri ini akan diberi subsidi yang besar oleh pemerintah pada kadar yang sama seperti sekarang. Selain itu, saya berbesar hati ingin berkongsi bahawa isi rumah yang telah menggunakan E sebelum ini boleh memohon semula untuk kelengkapan baru ini. 
Akhir sekali kami akan memberi nafas baru kepada kawasan kejiranan untuk menjadi lebih mesra warga emas melalui fasa kelima NRP yang akan datang. Ini akan memanfaatkan lebih daripada 100,000 flat tambahan yang merupakan flat lebih tua yang dibina sehingga 1999. Penduduk boleh mengharapkan taman terpetik dengan kotak penam, penanam mesra kursi roda dan laluan bebas halangan yang menghubungkan kemudahan-kemudahan yang mengutamakan warga emas. Dengan peluasan EAS tanpa wayar untuk flat sewa awam serta pelancaran IS 2.0 NRP fasa kelima, kami berharap agar warga emas akan berasa lebih selamat semasa tinggal di rumah dan menuah dalam masyarakat. Sir, back to English. To conclude, let me reaffirm our commitment to building an inclusive home for all Singaporeans. We'll continue to build a home that responds to the diverse and evolving needs of our population. A home that integrates housing with social support to empower and uplift our lower income household. And a home that allows our seniors to age gracefully and safely within the community, in our neighbourhoods and homes. Thank you, sir.